who's gonna rotate as well? It's a four man rotation. Our... Okay, well. Bottom lane? Going Paulson on. Paulson uh, back? Bat. Yeah, Bat Rider is most likely gonna go down. I say that though, he's going over the trees, but Mirko is chasing. Salve is gonna pop up. He's probably gonna pop the shrine as well. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. That was really close because yeah. uh, Miracle has three in dispersion. Probably try he was trying to kill him uh, with his own firefly. Right. <clears throat> you can make the argument that if he had a point death sword, though, he might have actually gotten the kill. He did get a couple of reckless in. Gabby coming back in, but in this J, the Iron Shell on top here. Ooh, that's gonna be a two three man coil if he wants it. Uh oh, coil silence waning rift. DJ, you got a lot of work here. Torn coming up. It will hit on the Puck here, but Puck taking a ton of damage to ZF face. He's taking a ton. Coil's gonna get used. They stun him up as well, and now Gabby all of a sudden might be in a little bit of trouble here. Gabby might not break the coil. It's gonna just walk off. Ninja Boogie comes in as well. They're trying to nuke him down, but he's so damn tanky. Jules looking for yet another stun. Meanwhile, on the back line here, RR has overstayed his welcome. Did go down. One for one exchange. Did Kunka not have Torn, or did he miss? He didn't actually catch it in the fight. I actually am very confused about that too. I'm not sure. Yeah, that was pretty where it was too. I, mean, I think I think it went off at the exact same time. Uh, got Lasso. I think That's Lasso. Okay. Mid lane here, the nuke damage is coming on. They're gonna try to burst him down. Coil has been used, but he pops the magic stick. He's gonna be fine. Tower is gonna go down. No, denied by Ninja Boogie. Nicely done, but Jules oh. is gonna get absolutely chopped. And great blink away here by uh, Ache. I don't know, multiple times in a row now, they just go on to the timber saw. Him. They last on him up as well. <laughs> There's... There's not much you can do. Mirabel's gonna pop the magic stick, gets oh, mech up mech here, he's here gonna time. be fine. The surge is gonna be on top of him as well. He's running through the trees here. Gabby does not care, but nobody dies. A second X gonna come through. This time it's gonna be on top of Jules. X coin's gonna hit, and Jules probably gonna die for Mirabel here. And they have a, a very amusing attempt to disjoint the X combo. Yeah. <laughs> I guess he reality into like. 20 different illusions over and over again. <laughs> yeah. Pops out, he's gonna be fine. Jay's out, Jules is out. RR, walking very slowly, 55 looking for the X here. They pop the drums and they got vision on him. Can they actually get the X? Somehow they did. And RR is gonna be dead here. Wait. Wait. Alright, he's actually dead. From one vacuum. Yo, he's dead. We got a range drops from it. Worth. I think a veil would be very, very worth it if Miracle manages to finish uh, Radiance at a decent time. Sure, it doesn't make you as tanky as a Vanguard would, but you know you farm the jungle much better, much faster, and you get that extra creep. I, it, I think it's set them back a bit. Oh, pup. it's hard to say. Well, they want DJ. The Han's gonna come through as well. Defensive disruption's gonna come out, and that was, I believe, so Catcher being stolen. Vacuum back in, and now the Luna Eclipse is gonna do so much damage with the Chakra on top of the Miracle is in there, but I'm not sure what he wants to be. The Lasso is gonna keep Jade locked down. He really wants the Kunta, and they do get the Dig on kill, but the Chakra cuts down the tree. They ping out Miracle. Miracle trying to run away. He's being slowed down by the Napalm. It looks like he will go down eventually. Maybe he could just straight up TP out, and he back. He will do so. Mio at the back of the base here. DJ dropping very, very low, but does not die. Does he actually want to farm the wall? This is not the time to do so. I don't think I would underestimate the burst potential from uh, Jay's puck build. Puck? Like, he's, okay. he's just pretty much maxing out his Dagon. It's already at level 4, so the amount of damage he outputs is pretty insane. Waves? Yeah. I don't know if they really need the wave. Seems like... Okay, it looks they like they do. Need yeah, backdoor protection. Lasso is gonna find a ninja, and the Han's gonna come in. I'm not sure if they actually want to fight this coil. That's gonna be a four. Raining Rift is gonna be falling up to a back wall on top of that as well. But where's the damage output? Here comes the eclipse right after the old miracle dropping. Verilo is gonna try to run away. They ping him out. Meanwhile, Puck's on the high ground. Puck finds Gabby, and he's gonna jaunt to the low ground. He should be fine. And now the rest of the team is running off. Man, they need a slaughter to really follow up as well. But that is as good of a combo as you can ask for. Jules moving forward, using the Iron Shell. 
following DJ. He needs a little bit more, but he gets beamed down and DJ turns around. Jules, okay, one more right click. Meanwhile, Puck comes in. He really wants DJ. He wants that Dagon. Blinking forward there. Slow him down. And he's actually going to get trapped here. DJ needs to phase. Needs to blink. He phase. The back's going to find him. But they still can't kill DJ. Puck's going to be dead on the back line here. And somehow, someone give me that Benny Heat theme music. He stuns him. Micro. He stuns him. Oh my god, the play by DJ though. And now Ninja Boogie TP's in for the Shockum on the back line here. What a chain combo. Ninja Boogie now will run away with the search. And that means that Darkseer is dead to right as well. He's trying to keep you out. He gets X back. And Ninja Boogie maybe could have went forward and gotten the kill, but he says, I, I've seen enough, man. Execration just playing with them. Oh my god, that was the most disastrous chase I have ever seen. Yeah. One, so he does have enough now. But he doesn't have a TP. Oh, okay, he's gonna hunt him, obviously. Yeah. All right. So he's got it. Go. Well, the wall Zip. has already been deployed. Tower is taking a ton of damage. RR thinking about coming ga back in, but Gabby I have the vacuum. Okay. Disruption is gonna get used a second time here. They need to do something right now. Blink. All right, here we go. Han's gonna come through right now. Where's he going? I think he's trying to go on the back line. He finds 55, but 55's gonna pop the X. Pop the mech from himself. Miracle soaking up a ton of damage. They're picking him out. They're focusing him. Where is his team? Miracle just dies. No buyback, obviously, because he's just finished the Radiance. R is gonna get hit up by the Flame Break. He's gonna get chained down here as well. And the rest of Mineski. I didn't see where Jay was, but he definitely did not use any <clears> of his spells. Now he comes in. Kills the Konka. He does have the Shadow Demon trapped in, but I don't think they care. They're now just gonna focus on the rest of the building. They lift up DJ, but DJ still has Aegis. So he's gonna be fine. Gabby's gonna come back in. Ninja Boogie's dropping extremely low. And okay, they finally removed the Aegis. Ninja Boogie's trying to pop the shrine, but he's gonna be dead. And the rest of the integration could just back out for free, which I think that's exactly what they're gonna do. That was a very, very surprising uh, from Mineski. It's like you yeah. said, Miracle jumps the back line, but where's the rest of his team? They were just all completely zoned out by the Timber Saw. And they kind all of right. just like, you know, circle in onto them. Here comes the important question, is one Rax enough? Oh, so they're about to make it too if they don't manage to hold this. I think if they hold this, it could be... This game could be delayed, but if they lose the second Rax, I think it's only a matter of time before Execration ends this game. Well, they gotta go now, and these Glaives are preventing. Here comes the Haunt again! Okay, the boat's gonna come through. Here comes Jules on the back line! Here comes Puck as well, they Dagon one down, there's the back wall combination, and then what? Okay, the Batrider gets lifted on the back line as well. Jules is gonna die under the shotgun, the Batrider's still alive, the mech's gonna come through, there's a buyback from the Slaughter, and now I think Mineski is looking to chase here, DJ's dropping very low, he does not have the Aegis anymore, the shotgun's gonna cover the retreat, Miracle under the shotgun, taking a ton of damage, and he's gonna go down, I believe, but no, Jill comes back in, helping out his carry, and now Gabby might have overstayed his welcome. Miracle still hangs around, threatening the dagger a little bit more, Jules taking a ton of that shotgun damage, that Adam Scepter needs so much work. They still want Gabby to put the Ray Boss, it's a little bit too strong. They have successfully defended. Slaughter did have to use the buyback, but the defense is the defense. And now they're giving some time for those, uh, the glyph to cool down. This is kind of what they have to do. Yep. Down behind your wall. Great wall of Gabby. Checking on buyback status. Puck does have one. And Rubik has one, but that's pretty much it. The Ranger Racks will go down, and it seems like they are not looking to defend the melee racks either. Up, doing what he can, but Jules getting caught out. The Han's gonna come through right now, and Eclipse on the back line. Jules' HP evaporates instantly. Okay, back wall is gonna get dropped here. Where's the Spectre in all of this? I'm not too sure Spectre now in the back line, but they pretty much wasted their entire combination, and everybody's at full HP on the side of Execration. Keep in mind that's a dieback on the. Oh, Ninja Boogie taking a ton of damage. Looks like he'll be okay getting searched back out. Gabby just takes the full on. Frontal assault by the by the side of Mineski and just does not care. Now Puck come back in. He wants to dig on down DJ. DJ dropping low and Jay still jaunting and phasing around. DJ hanging around the coil, breaks the coil. He's very low and the radiance is actually burning him down. Meanwhile, Puck might be a little bit trouble. He phased. I believe he has blink available. Oh no, he has to turn, but he won't jaunt out. No, the torrent finds him. And that is gonna be a buyback. 
Gabby is still on the front line. I mean, the base is quote unquote defended, but that's, you know, a couple more kills going into the pocket of BJ. That we don't see too often, but he's gonna have it this game. Mineski still wants to fight into this. Han's gonna come back out. They see 55, I think. 55 X's himself. I'm not sure what that X is about. Oh my god, is this gonna be a juke? No, he just straight up dies. Batrider hovering over the trees. And now they wanna fight this. Kunka's gonna port right in. Okay, they actually break the lasso, and now Jay getting caught out. Jay's gonna get absolutely blown I up. Back. Yep, he's not gonna have any way to join the fight for 100 seconds. Ninja Boo's gonna get caught. He's also dead. Now what? Hans on cooldown as well here. Jules popping his BKB, trying to do what he can, but it's gonna be retreat from Mineski, trying to run away from this team. Good luck. Marigold's gonna TP out. Jules could blink out, and now Aura walks away. Okay, 55 unable to actually find anybody. They just, yeah, call, they just call GG. There's yeah. no way they can fight this. I had this Gabby Timber saw. What a beast. Yeah. I felt like Mineski kind of made a lot of strategic errors. For example, the, the mid tier 2 defense, when they didn't have Radiance, in fact they were very far off from Radiance, decided to take those fights was very questionable, and then chasing DJ in that big loop-de-loop -loop was, was also not the play. But uh...